Not seeing much flip anymore. Please keep us posted. In fact, I will. We just bought a new property. Let me go and show you. So first of all, we've been busy with our offices and that's running smoothly right now. So um, that's part one. Part two, we've been really busy working on a side project. Um, I think you guys might find it interesting. It is the first flipping course in South Africa. So we are busy putting together a course where we show um, how we flip properties and the course is titled flip your first property so um, this entire course puts out and 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 frames out exactly how we would flip our very first property takes you through the entire process and will form a very good guide to somebody who wants to flip their very first property all of that aside that will probably come out somewhere in early no early april maybe in march uh, we're doing our best to get it completely done um, but yeah late march early april that will be out keep an eye on our socials all of our details will be on there uh, as soon as that comes out um, but now like i said let me show you our latest flip property So, coming through my little saloon doors, there is an open plan living area, which is already open plan, and that makes it really nice to not have to do that much building work. Um, I'm gonna tell you a bit more detail about what we plan to spend on this property, and uh, we'll discuss some details around the entire flip strategy of this property. But in theory, we will be opening just a small piece over the kitchen, uh, out of the kitchen wall. And by doing that, we'll be creating a kitchen, a kitchen island and establishing an open plan living environment. The second part that we'll be doing from a building point of view is we'll be breaking down uh, this window all the way to the ground. We'll be keeping the lintel that's in the window already. And then we'll add a sliding door here. That sliding door will lead us out to an entertainment area. A lot of these houses that was built in the 80s did not have traditional or modern entertainment areas. They all had these traditional styles of, of you'd be walking out the back door and or the front door and take out the Weber that is currently in the garage or something like that. Whereas these days we want to live a modern lifestyle we walk out from your dining area to a bra area. So ideally, that's what we want to create always. We want to have a kitchen, dining, living, entertainment, all in one space. This house actually also does have a pool, which is in relatively good state. It's a bit green, but I think we'll be able to save it. Coming through to the kitchen, we'll be reusing some of the cabinetry. So cabinets like these are actually in very good state and uh, we'll probably just be replacing the doors the kitchen tops and then the appliances like the stoves and the basins and so on like i said we'll be opening all of this up this will go out to a dining area um, this house actually also has a very nice uh, ceiling most of the rooms have this uh, kiart ceiling or, or maranti ceiling and um, we're going to try to feature that instead of just painting over it or something like that. Coming down the hallway, there is a beautiful green moss carpet. Uh, this was very in style in the 80s, not as much today. We'll probably have to change that. Nice big spacious bedrooms, three of them, with lots of cabinetry. 
Um, very simple renovations in here, lights, wall paint, cabinets paint, flooring. Same next door. Then there's bathrooms. Now, we want to ideally renovate these bathrooms um, on a budget. So, we've got a couple of plans. We're not exactly sure what we're gonna do uh, entirely yet, but we have a couple of plans to maybe recoat the tiles. Uh, we are working with a brand who we will reveal in the next video. Um, and seeing if there's a way to repurpose some of the old tile in a good way. But um, probably a new basin, probably some new mixes, that type of thing. Separate guest toilet on this side, and then a master bedroom through here. So also some cabinetry and an ensuite. What I want to discuss with you guys is a few flip strategies. So when you typically flip a property, you want to consider strategy probably based on budget. So ideally, we talk about a small, medium or large renovation. Now what you've seen a lot on this channel if you've been subscribed for a while would be large renovations. That's where we take an ha a house and entirely gut it and entirely renovate it. But because of market conditions, um, what I mean by that is there's not as many buyers buying right at the top of the, of the market. We have decided to employ what we call a medium renovation on this property. So we won't be spending that much money. We will still be spending a generous amount, but we'll be touching everything in the right ways where we essentially do new flooring, do new paint, do the entertainment area, do the kitchen, work on the bathrooms. And the idea is to put something in the market at a real value price so that we do not end up with a thing priced right at the top, but we end up with a product that is priced very reasonably. Um, I'm not gonna tell you the price right away that we are planning to sell it for. But uh, what I will do is I'll ask Leroux to give you guys a full breakdown of what we spend, uh, what we plan to spend on this property. We are renovating this property on a strict budget. The fact is we want to reintroduce this house into the market for a price of around two million. So for us to be able to do that, we need to be very strict with the budget. Let me run through a bit of the prices that we have estimated and that we plan, plan to spend on this property. Firstly, we are redoing the whole flooring of this property. All the areas which are not wet floor areas will be redone in a laminate flooring. The reason is we took out carpets, so we already have a subfloor that is in good condition and we can just install laminate on top of that. That is about 80 squares and that will cost us 30,000 Rand. Secondly, there's a couple of wet floor areas, which is the kitchen, the bathrooms, the scullery. That is about 25 square meters, and we plan to spend about 250 Rand per square meter. That is 7,000 Rand. After that, we go to the bathrooms. They will also get the same floor finish of the tiles, and on the walls, we'll be doing a mix cement finish. This is a very cool technique that you can use to modernize an old tile wall where all the tiles are secured and that, that is very important. They need to be secured or the product will not last. So that will give a very nice modern finish and we do that at about 200 Rand per square which amounts to 6,000 Rand in total that wall finishes. In the bathrooms, we will be replacing most of the fixtures because they are odd colors and it is just better, better to replace them. There's about eight of them and that will amount to 25,000 in spend there. In the kitchen, we will be reusing most of the cabinetry skeletons. We will be replacing the countertops. We'll also be replacing the doors and the handles as well as the stove and the oven. These total costs amount to about 20,000 Rand. It might fluctuate about uh, according to which deals we are able to find. Then we are gonna be painting the house. 
totally on the inside, totally on the outside. Let's go to the interior first. We will be painting all the trims, the door frames, the doors, the walls, the window frames, the ceilings where we don't have these naughty pine ceilings. That total interior paint cost, material and labor will be about 40,000 Rand. Then we go to the exterior. We'll be painting the door frames again. We'll be painting the trims, which is the fascias. And then we'll also be painting all the gates and palisades around the property. That total cost amounts to about 20,000. And then almost last is the landscaping of the property. On the landscaping, we'll be mostly cutting things back and removing things to make the area look aesthetically pleasing and just to make it not look overgrown. This is very important so that it can look maintained and that it looks new. The one big construction and demo and building piece that we'll be doing on this property is breaking down a big piece of the wall behind me so that we can connect the kitchen and the living space and then also demoing out that window to put in a sliding door that can connect the inside and the outside entertainment spaces. This total cost will be about 30,000 on this project for the building and demo. That is it guys, I hope we can stick to this budget and we will do a recap of how the budget went after the project. There of course is miscellaneous costs and extra costs and just running cost of this property and we will be sure to add that in the end video where we see how much we spent.